Remember, just because a presidential candidate gets the most votes, it doesn't necessarily mean they win. It all comes down to the, to the Electoral College. Each state gets the same number of electors as it has members in the House and Senate, plus the District of Columbia gets three. That's a total of 538 electors. A candidate needs at least 270 of them to win. 48 states grant all of their electors to the winner in their state, while two split their electors. A projected winner is typically announced soon after an election, but the actual electoral college vote isn't until mid-December. The Constitution doesn't require electors to vote for their party's nominee, but they almost always do. And some states do require it. The ultimate winner will be sworn in on January 20th.